welcome to this beginner-friendly yin yoga class for your upper body. We will start right away in a wide-legged child's pose. So please come onto your mat. Knees go as wide as you'd like them to go. Press the hips back towards your heels and then fold forward with your upper body. Your arms can go out in front of you, elbows bent in a diamond shape. Could always rest them back as well if that's more comfortable for you. Or you could just stack the palms to rest your forehead on top of them. Find a place that's most comfortable to you and then relax your chest, your belly and all the muscles in the face. Here in this pose, I like to visualize all your worries and thoughts that caused to distress you or make you anxious. Visualize that you set them off to the side, like taking off a heavy backpack at the end of the day. And just rest. Push into your arms and hands to begin to lift back up. Knees come together to touch again. Coming into butterfly, butterfly forward fold next, so extend your legs out in front of you. Your soles of the feet come together to touch and your heels should be one to two feet away from you so that your legs make a diamond shape. And you can place your sitting bones on a bolster or a folded blanket if your lower back is rounding here. Your arms are soft and you can thread your elbows and forearms underneath your shins. I find that very comfortable, but you can always decide for yourself which position works best for you. If you have found your edge in this position, Stay here and breathe.
deepen your breath and turn the palms face down to very gently press yourself back up. Head is the very last thing to come up. Legs together, maybe use your hands to help. And then just hug your knees and roll round into yourself as a com counter pose to take a moment to notice how you feel after these poses. Forward folds are naturally introspective. So notice if you feel a little more relaxed and rooted. Slowly release and come back up with a straight spine. Blink open the eyes, making our way into our next pose, which will go which is going to be some neck stretches. We will come into a cross legged seat, so maybe take your meditation cushion or just a block or a folded blanket to sit up so your hips are higher than your knees. Extend the crown of the head upward and then drop your right ear to your right shoulder, keeping your chin slightly elevated. Gently draw your shoulders away from the ears and let your head be heavy. You can stay here or to intensify it, reach the right fingertips out to the sides. And you may even bring your left hand towards the top of your left head. But don't pull down here. Instead, think of lengthening the ear further away from the shoulder.
Staying in the next stretch for two more minutes, but now dip your chin slightly down towards your right shoulder and armpit, taking the sensation more into the back of the neck, top of the shoulder blade. Use your hand if you had it up to bring the head back to neutral. Be very slowly and mindfully here. And notice if the side we just did feels any different compared to the one we didn't do yet. Doing the second side from a nice tall spine, left ear comes to the left shoulder, chin parallel to the floor. If you want to progress further, walk the right fingers out to the side and remember to glide the shoulders down and back. Maybe even adding the left hand on top of the head for even more length here. Fully relax and enjoy the stretch. Slowly rotate the chin down, looking to your left shoulder and armpit to take the stretch in the back of the neck 
and shoulder blade. Think about inviting in more space with your breath. Maybe use the fingertips pressing into your left temple to lift back up to center. Maybe do some shoulder rolls forwards or back if that feels good to release any last tension. And notice once again if the sensations in the neck have changed with those simple postures. We will close in a seated meditation together, but always feel free to lay down into Shavasana instead and stay as long as you like. So stay seated in a cross leg position if you want to, close your eyes if you haven't already, and come back to your natural breath rhythm, letting any attempt at trying to control the shape of the breath go. Feel your breath travel all the way to your chest, shoulders, upper back, and your neck. Check in with yourself if you feel any different now than to when you first stepped onto your mat. Maybe there's more space in your neck and shoulder area and maybe not. Hands meet in prayer in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.